It's been a day, quite a day. Anyway, I'll tell you about that in a minute. Uh, my name's Ian, I sell books on eBay, and usually I do these every day, but I didn't do one yesterday because something came up that got me a wee bit stressed out and didn't take a huge amount of time to resolve, but it just threw me out my stride completely. And when I would normally be doing this, I was having to deal with that. So, yeah, I didn't I didn't get to it yesterday. So that means that I've got a kind of couple of days worth of orders to show you, and um, everything's already shipped. Just the way the the timings have worked out. So oh, I'll I'll stand to the side slightly, and then that means that I can chuck everything up over here, and you'll be able to see what it is that has sold. Um, make sure I can actually see the screen so I can tell you. So, going all the way back to the 17th of March, two long days ago. Um, I did The video on the 17th was quite late in the day, so I've only got sales from like four o'clock onwards to show you, but still a few came in. I'll need to go and look at my other sheet to get the full numbers. But the first thing that went out were five Lee Child paperbacks and they sold for £13.74. So I just picked up a wee stack of them the other day and that's got that list in moving again, which is always good. Next, we have Alias Grace by Margaret Atwood. Nice wee hardcover. I think it was actually a first edition um, and that went for £8.49. Then we've got two... Jeff Kinney Wimpy Kid books for what's six forty nine plus two pounds fifty about nine quid eight ninety nine for the two of them uh, they were bought separately so I had to refund the postage and one of them obviously then some Warhammer we like our Warhammer these were three paperbacks that really weren't worth much at all just you know, normal low value paperbacks so I just bundled the th three of them together and that went for thirteen ninety nine. Then another regular, David Baldacci, nine ninety nine for three paperbacks. What was that? Saving Faith, A Minute to Midnight, and the Six Twenty Man. Then a big bundle of John Grisham, uh, ten of them in total. So that was twenty two pounds and forty nine pence. Yeah, I got a load of Grisham a couple of times recently, so they've really started shifting yet again. Then another fan favourite, Dilly Court, twelve ninety nine for five of those. Simon Kernick, three Simon Kernick, not somebody I sell very often at all, but they do sell, so I'll stack them up. They can sit in their corner until they sell in nine ninety nine for three Simon Kernick paperbacks. Another bundle of three, this time all hardcovers, and they went for £12.49. So Bernard Cornwall, Vagabond, Stonehenge and Heretic. Then this was one of my pre-made bundles. So when I've been in the shops, if they've got a stack of stuff that's obviously from the same series or very similar, I'm just grabbing it, checking the condition, bundling it up and selling it as a bundle. And that went for £12.99. So Disney's Treasure Cove Stories, it was a wee seven book bundle of those. Then we've got a bundle of Mr. Pratchett's for thirteen ninety nine. so five of them. But this, this happened the other day with my Game of Thrones lot, where I'd listed one, but the quantity was shown as ten. Now I don't know if I've managed to do that somehow. I don't recall changing the quantity because the original listing that I'd used was for one. So I wouldn't have gone anywhere near that for there, but somehow it appeared as 10. Um, Monstrous Regiment seems to have done the same in my Terry Pratchett listing, and I, I don't know why, because I sold out of it the other day, and suddenly it's back available again on my listing, so I don't know what's if it's something I've done. I was in updating other Terry Pratchett listings the other day. Have I accidentally put a one against Monstrance Regiment instead of one of the other listings? I need to go and double check that just now. But I ain't got it. So I'm going to have to refund the buyer for that book. And uh, the rest are all 
out and going to them so I hope that doesn't become an issue because it was a little bit frustrating and that's actually three times that seems to have happened um, in the last week or so after somebody messaged me to say it had been happening to them and I'm thinking oh, I've never had that problem all of a sudden three times and the other one's still to come right next after Terry Pratchett for thirteen ninety nine less three pound odd so probably about a tenner really for those Terry Pratchett books uh, then we've got two pre-made bundles again so five romance paperbacks I, again, I picked up a big stack of these they were all in the one lot good clean condition so I just grabbed them I've made up two or three lots already maybe four lots already yeah I've made up four lots already I've got another couple of there to get listed but I thought I'd see how these first ones went and they've went they have gone twenty five ninety eight for the two bundles so they were in at twelve ninety nine a pop and they've seemed to have sold quite well so going to the same person there's no I don't make any extra money in postage or anything on that because each bundle was a three pound post and the two of them together is a six pound post so that's the balance of the prices there but yeah twenty five ninety eight for those two romance lots and then here is the other one that's caused me problems today a bundle of four Bernard Cornwall paperbacks now Monstrous Regiment wasn't there because for some reason a quantity has been added that shouldn't have been and the same thing has happened with Sharks Regiment again this has been sold not too long ago and it's back with a quantity of one so again I'm not sure what's going on I get again I did go in and add an awful lot of Bernard Cornwall listings the other day and I'm, I'm usually pretty careful but I've, I need to go through and check the ones that I've put in and see if I've added in one that I shouldn't have and created it so it's another one I'm going to have to refund for that book because it ain't there I don't have it I know I've already sold it and I don't know why it's got an extra value on it again so that's a bit frustrating to say the least uh, you know three times in a couple of weeks is a bit ridiculous luckily I caught the biggie um, these two are parts of bundles so I'm hoping that that'll be okay with the buyer and if, if you're watching if it's you that's bought these I'm really sorry I don't know what's happened with it this is a new uh, issue for me um, but I, th I think it's been my fault I'll be perfectly honest because I know I've been in and updated the Bernard Cornwall and the Terry Pratchett listings with quite a number of books recently I've put a one somewhere where I shouldn't have so I need to go and check all of that out anyway the next sale a nice wee single book Other Men's Flowers so a book of poetry a poetry anthology the memorial edition from 1986 and that sold for £10 next a bundle of Beast Quest so I do have a Beast Quest listing where I've got them all listed up singly and people can build their own but I picked up a complete set series 10 books 1 to 6 really good condition so it just seemed to make sense to stick them together and get them sold as that so they went for £9.99 then another single book N.K. Jemison The City We Became picked this up quite recently again that kind of fantasy sci-fi looking thing in good condition I'm going to grab it and see what it sells for and that went for £6.99 another pre-made bundle Connor Golden this time War of the Roses trilogy all hardcovers all good condition £14.99 so again a Connor Golden listing I do got to have but it was the full trilogy pick them up in one go it just seemed to make sense to get them listed up and sold as such because that has sold before and it has sold again so that was quite nice 14 99 well, then a wee stack of Nora Roberts five Nora Roberts thankfully they're all there even though I did update Nora Roberts listing the other day with a lot of books it seems to have gone okay 12 99 for the five Nora Roberts books then another wee stack Rick Riordan, Riordan, Royardon. I'm never really sure how his name's meant to be said. I'm going with Riordan. Uh, Percy Jackson's three of his books, £9.69 for the three of them. And getting towards the end now. Five Michael Connolly's £13.99. 
So three, sorry, four kind of normy, normy, normal size paperbacks and then one large paperback, but thankfully still under the two kilos postage weight. So 13.99 for the five of them, that's a nice sale. Final order of the day, yet another pre-made bundle. James Oswald, five paperback thrillers, 12.99. Again, under the two kilos. Um, and a lot of these have gone there uh, with promoted listings and nearly all of them have sold on promotions one way or another. But yeah, not a bad wee run of sales. I don't know how much all of that was. I'll need to go and look at my sheet to get a kind of guesstimate. Um, but I'll do that in a wee second. But yeah, that's, that's the orders for today. Nothing physical to show you because they've all been... I wanted to get back to the Royal Mail Delivery Centre today to try and fix the problem that arose yesterday. So I got up and did all of this really early because they close at 10 o'clock. So to get everything done, packed up and get over there for 10, I need to make sure I'm a wee bit on point to, to do all of that, including school runs and all of these other things. So I got them all packed up and out. That's actually a fib. I've still to go and grab the James Oswald books and get them packed up because that sale just came in before I started filming. Um, but I'll tell you what went wrong. I'll tell you that in a wee second. Sales-wise, on the 18th, so first of all, on the 17th, we got, so that was Sunday, £211 worth of orders. So that's all right. I'm going through my average for this month is at the moment £130 a day in orders. So my target's 200 I'm a wee bit off of that. My average, if I go back, over the last six months is about £150 a day, so it has been a slow month, but this week it's picked up a wee bit and it's looking slightly better. Still only around about that £130 average, but if I have another couple of half decent days, then that'll hopefully begin to pull that back to the 150 mark and get towards the 200 So, yep, Sunday did £211 in sales, which was quite nice, and yesterday 165 so two half decent days in a row um, you know if it was the average across the two of those what's that about 180 a day so that's that's much more where I want to be but it will plummet at some point this week I've got no doubt about that I'll be back down at 40 50 quid sales uh, which is the grating part, you think you're getting a bit of momentum and then boom, it knocks you back down. eBay don't seem to want to let me get my average sales above a certain point. And I know it's not eBay doing that, I know it's just, you know, the nature of the world, but it really does feel like that. I've put about an extra £10,000 worth of value into my listings, all stuff that sells and has sold before and should sell again, but it's really not made much difference to my overall sales, so... Yeah, let's see how it's going. The promoted listings seem to have kept things up a little bit. So since the promoted listings, we've had a 255, a 125, a 136, a 74, a 53, a 100, 211, 165. So th that's all right. But it's not much different from what was happening before. Uh, so it needs a wee bit more time just to see if that's going to have a proper impact. But yeah, the, the momentum page, shed flips, cheers is definitely working out for me and keeping me on track, especially with the listing values. So I didn't list much on Saturday, only 40 quid, but beyond that, I've kept well above the 300 pound mark every day. My top target is 400 a day. That's what I would like to do, but I, I'm not doing that every day, certainly. I've only achieved that a few days this month, but been well over the 300 on average, so I'm kind of content to keep rolling with that one. Right, what happened yesterday? Royal Mail. Absolutely. I think may have shafted nearly all those sales I just spoke about and a couple from prior to that as well. Uh, I dropped off 20 odd parcels yesterday. So a lot of value in those. Some big sales in amongst them. Some good sales in amongst them. And dropped them off as usual. They scanned them in. Thanks very much. See you later. 
Toodle home. They had started doing a wee bit of listing and then the messages started coming in. Why is my book been delivered to Glasgow? Why have my books been delivered to Glasgow? I live in. And they just kept coming. So I went in and checked the tracking and everything I dropped off yesterday morning had, when they've scanned them in, instead of scanning them in to say, right, received, they've scanned them in saying collected and delivered. So everything that got dropped off yesterday has shown that it was delivered when I dropped it off at half eight in the morning. If that affects any of you guys who've not been in touch yet or have not managed to get back to you, then apologies. I went back this morning and spoke to the woman who scanned them in yesterday and she said it shouldn't affect them being delivered because it'll be quite clear on the tracking that they were only just scanned in. You know, they hadn't nothing had happened. The final scan had been that collected scan, so when somebody's working that through. I'm not convinced because that's one thing if you've got a big, you know, a batch of 20 and they're all saying the same thing, somebody's going to go, oh, there's been a mistake made. But when these have gone out all over the country, there's not going to be a batch of 20 for somebody to see that. They're going to get one parcel and it's going to say, this label's already been used. What happens then? Does the customer get one of the wee cards through saying you need to come and pay £5 in postage to collect your parcel? Does it just get sent back to me? Does it get sent to, you know, the death pile somewhere? I don't know. I'm not 100% convinced with the reassurance given from the, the lady at the Royal Mail Centre that they will just go and be delivered as normal. I really hope they do, because if they don't, I'm going to have to refund, like, two and a half days worth of sales, two and a half days worth of good sales. I may have lost all of that product, even if I get it back, I've got to sell it again because it'll take God knows how long to come back. So I can't be saying to people, oh, I'll just hold on a few weeks until I get it back and I'll send it back out to you. That ain't going to work. People want stuff when they order it. Um, so I may have to refund a couple of days worth of sales, which to be honest would absolutely kill me. Um, I don't even know if I'll be able to do that. Um, and obviously 20 disgruntled buyers that could have a massive impact on feedback uh, on my standing with late delivery rates you know it that could really be a serious kick in the teeth um, I've also got in touch with Royal Mail through their customer contact and um, sent them a big list of all the tracking numbers that have been affected and asked them what is going to happen here because if I have to take the hit on it then I need some sort of compensation uh, I cannot afford to pay out all of those refunds in one go. There's just not, you know, that would completely annihilate my whole cash flow. Um, the feedback issue, if I end up with 20 negative feedbacks, which I hope wouldn't be the case, but people would understand what would happen, but there's a risk that I get 20 negative feedbacks all in one go. That score's going down. That will have a significant impact on sales. And if it shows up as 20 late delivery defects by eBay, then again, my whole seller rating is gubbed for the foreseeable future. And I don't know how long it would take to get that rectified. Hopefully, if that does happen, there'll be a case to raise to say, look, this is entirely Royal Mail's fault. Um, so can those marks be removed? But even if they sit there for three or four days, that could mean sales are gone. I mean, it, it's, it could be really, really significant. So I'm a bit worried. I'll be honest, I am a bit worried. I've always preferred Royal Mail because even though they're more expensive, they're typically the more reliable. But this has really, really, really put me off. Um, if you use every, the odd parcel goes missing. It, it happens um, more often than it does if you use Royal Mail. Uh, usually if it goes missing with Royal Mail it's because the customer just hasn't collected it or hasn't been available to take delivery and it ends up coming back every day vanish into the ether but an entire weekend's worth of sales potentially just gone is really really worrying me if anybody has had this problem themselves or as this has happened to you um, please 
let me know what the outcome was because I'm definitely a bit nervous about it. Um, and although it will be something that could be rectified, it, you know, if those parcels don't go, I've lost two days worth of sales. I may get the stock back and be able to resell it, but I will have lost two days worth of sales, at least two days worth of sales, which is just brutal considering the two days before had been like 50, 60 quid. And then the two days that it happened have been you know, well over a hundred pounds each. So, you know, that's quite a bit of change that would have to come back out of the pocket. Um, the impact on the potential impact on the eBay account, all of this, it's really, really worrying me. I'll be honest, it's really scaring me. I have been in touch with quite a few people who are affected and they're all understanding so far, but that's based on the reassurance I've been given that it won't have impact on the delivery, which I, I want to believe. I want to believe. I really hope that is the case, but I'm just a bit concerned. So let's see if anybody has had this issue with Royal Mail where they've scanned the item wrong at the time so that it's been scanned as delivered rather than received. Please let me know what the outcome was. Um, the other thing is I pay the extra money. So it's 2 99 to send something second class, 3 29 to send something tracked. So that tracking's gone. There is no tracking available in those items because they're all shown as delivered at the point I've picked them up. So 20 times 30p, was that six quid? So should I be getting that back from Royal Mail? A refund of six pounds? Because they've screwed the tracking and the tracking is unavailable. I don't know, when you investigate that as well. Anyway, that's that's the Royal Mail thing. Let's see, if I hadn't lost all my hair already, I may have lost a wee bit more. I'm just worrying about the impact of that. Uh, a couple of parcels. Fair enough, but 20, 20 other things, seriously? Yeah, so yes, your your reassurance would be appreciated if there is any to give. Anyhow, that is the rant. That wasn't too much of a rant, I hope, but really, <laughs> make me nervous. Uh, today, I have lots of listing to do. I'll be popping out later on to grab a couple of wee bits and pieces maybe. I'll drop off a couple of parcels as well. And I'll just stick them into the parcel box so I don't have the panic of somebody scanning them wrong at the desk. And uh, yeah, that's that's kind of all we've been up to. So not a huge amount. There was some comments that I wanted to go back to actually. Let's have a look. Do 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 lots lots of really nice supportive comments. Really, really appreciate that to everybody. Uh Deborah Herridge. Thank you. Glad you're enjoying it. Uh, please keep watching. Yeah, movies mash, movie smash, or movies mash. Which one is it? Movie smash, movies mash. It can work either way. I like both either way. Uh, again, thanks very much. You're enjoying the videos. Making a video. Oh, could you make a video on postage? Royal Mail is so silly expensive. Uh, well, you'll have you'll have just heard that wee bit there about. There's only mail issues I've been having. It is silly expensive, but I do still use them because it's more reliable. Uh, might do something a wee bit more about postage once I get this issue resolved. I'll let you know what's happened with it. What have we got? What have we got? Again, Richard Soper. Thanks very much. The guy in Smithbook I picked up. Yes, they, they are popular. Uh, it's definitely an author I keep my eyes out for. Sandra Geach. Is that... That Australian Sandra? I think it is. Uh, yeah, I do get a lot of good books. It's great, isn't it? Thanks very much. Uh, do do do. What have we got? Steve O. Him. Steve O. You guy off a jackass? Don't think so. Uh, what Stephen Bing, Stephen Bing cooks have I got? What Stephen King books have I got so far? So, my collection, the stuff I'm collecting, I've got. Under the Dome, If It Bleeds, Desperation, Full Dark, No Stars, Fairy Tale, Billy Summers, Insomnia, and I've got a copy of Misery on the way. So not an awful lot at the moment. I used to have so many more. Um, but, you know, life happens. So I'm very much starting from scratch with those. And it's obviously the a lot of them are quite recent. So therefore, an awful lot easier to find, pick up and get. Um, that will be the, the early ones, like some misery, that are a wee bit more challenging to find and get. But yeah, hopefully we will get a full collection in the next 20, 30 years. Uh, a few other folks saying that 
eBay has been really, really slow for them too. So it, it does seem to have been a bit of a a slow few days just across the board. Uh, Polish Pete, yep. People spending on Easter, saving for Easter. Aye. Lamb leg is expensive, this is true. Uh, I don't know, with the books, I found, because it was kind of this point last year where the books began to move a wee bit for me and I thought, oh, there's something to do. So it seemed to be people buying books for their Easter holidays, you know, something to read whilst they're off to Tenerife to catch a wee bit of sun. Uh, so we'll see if that happens. And maybe that's what started happening in the last couple of days, people getting that ready. I did get one message on the potentially missing orders from yesterday. So it was a bundle of Jacqueline Wilson books that I'd sent out and the buyer had got in touch to say, these have been delivered to Glasgow, what's going on? I need these for the end of the week for taking on holiday. So they're obviously heading off on holiday and they've got some books for the kids to read. So that seems to fit in with that theory. That could be what it is. And DJ2076, again, worst of eBay sales have been the worst I've ever known over the last three days. So it's definitely yeah, something going on there. But mm, we shall see. So yeah. Thank you all for your support. Uh, read, resell, repeat. <laughs> we know who that is now, don't we? Yes. Read, resell, repeat. Go find our vids and uh, get subscribed. They used to be called something else, but now they're read, resell, repeat. Go and see what they're doing. Hey, do do do. What else was there? Oh yeah, a couple of people asking about, you know, making the videos on YouTube and, you know, how that's worked after being monetized. So I've said a couple of times, oh yeah, I'm going to do something and just share a bit of how that's all gone. Uh, I just keep not getting around to it. It's, it's one of these things. But I can say, when I'd started all of this out, I was expecting, at the kind of the pace and the tempo that, this works for me at the moment, so, you know, 500 to 800 views a day is about, it's quite a big threshold, but that's round about the average. And the way everything looked, you're looking at pennies a day, you know, 20, 30, 40, maybe 50p a day in ad revenue coming back off of that. Um, but it's been very, very different. So that was a case of look, not doing this to make any money. You know, throughout the year, there might be an odd wee 60 quid getting dropped into the bank account because you hit 60 quid's I think the minimum that you need to have accumulated for it to get paid out so that would be quite nice every now and again a wee 60 pound treat nobody's going to knock that money is money that would be great but what has happened is in the first over a 28 day period it's round about 170 pounds in ad revenue has been generated uh, if you take the kind of full month 100, uh, well, 131 no there's not 131 days in a month there's 31 days in a month 31 days if you take the 31 days it's closer to the 200 pounds that it's shown for that kind of full period i think about 194 in total so round about a fiver a day in ad revenue coming in which has been a huge surprise a very very nice surprise um not any payments from them yet i need to go in and update a couple more details so it'll actually pay me uh, but that's been quite a pleasant surprise so if anybody's wondering about you know is it worth putting in that wee bit of extra time? You're, you're not going to make minimum wage on it. But if it's something that you want to do anyway, then it will provide a wee bit of extra pocket money as it goes along. If uh, YouTube pay me £100, £150 a month, that's great. It's a day's wages, you know, a nice, a nice wee day's wages. I'll always take that uh, and I'd be doing this anyway. So that's... It's a bonus rather than a, I'm making these videos to make money. You know, got to get people watching them so that they'll watch the adverts and YouTube will pay me more money. That's not what this is. It's a nice benefit, a nice bonus, and I'm certainly not going to uh, say no thank you. I'll say yes please every single time. So that's, that's a wee bit of an update on the, the YouTube journey. Good couple of days sales. Potentially a complete disaster thanks to Royal Mail. I really hope that's not the case and really appreciate everybody's support watching the channel or the rest of it. Um, if you've not subscribed, please subscribe. I don't really care about how many subscribers there are, but apparently 
if people, the more people subscribe on a video, the further YouTube will share it. So there's millions, billions of people watching YouTube every day. On average, my videos get put in front of, you know, over a few weeks, we'll get put in front of between six and 10,000 people. So there's only six to 10,000 people getting the chance to watch my videos. So the more people subscribe, comment, like, do all of these things, then the more people YouTube will expose me to. That sounded slightly wrong, but you know what I mean. So instead of there being 10,000 people getting the chance to watch this, there could be 20,000 or 50,000, which pushes all those numbers up as well. And we get to spread the love. Anyway, enough of that. I'll see you all later on. So see ya, love ya. Bye.